Okay, good afternoon. My name is Li Duan. I come from Hokkaido University. I'm glad to have this opportunity to introduce our work, multi-emotion multi estimation in narratives from cross-source annotations. Humans, by nature, can be emotion emotionally affected by literature, music, fine art, and so on. So the conveyed emotion also refers to as affect, feeling, sentiment, mood are essential for enjoying such contents. The paradigm, the paradigm used for emotion annotations depends on the applications. Take narrative sentences as an example. For simple applications, it is sufficient to annotate whether a sentence is emotive or the emotional valence, such as positive or negative, or one particular emotion, such as sadness or happiness. Such emotion annotations obviously simplify the complexity of human emotion, so they are not sufficient for more complicated applications, such as expressive text-to-speech synthesis and effective education support. From this viewpoint, it is necessary to annotate multiple emotions rather than the emotional valence of one single emotion to each sentence. An enormous amount of emotion annotations is, are generally necessary to be used as input for emo expressive text-to-speech synthesis reference material for effective education support and the training data for machine learning algorithm supporting automatic emo emotion detection. And the data quality directly affects the quality of the research. One way to obtain the enormous amount of multi-emotion es estimation is to use online crowdsourcing services, which is used frequently in the annotation community. The state of the art is, to, is for each sentence to be annotated by one annotator. However, emotion annotations is more subjective than other kinds of annotations. There are different tendencies and substantial variance among individuals when detecting feelings. So the annotation quality greatly depends on the judgment of the annotator and is problematic in most cases. So it is necessary to develop quality control strategies. A promising quality control strategy is to introduce redundancy by asking multiple annotators to work on one sentence and then aggregating their responses to produce one reliable annotation. A reliable annotation should be in accordance with the general consensus of large crowd. The simplest aggregation strategy, the majority word, is effective only when the number of annotators is large enough. However, collecting responses from a large number of annotators is impractical due to the extremely high cost. On the other hand, if the number of annotators is less than a certain unknown number, the detrimental effect of noisy responses is significant, and the treating responses given by different annotators would produce poor quality results. So our aim is to find the best estimation algorithm to estimate the general consensus of large crowds from the opinion of a handful of crowdsourcing workers. This will reduce the cost of creating high quality multi-motion estimation data sites with minimal degradation in the quality of the results. Most estimation algorithms include latent factors related to these three components, such as instance difficulty 
annotator bears and annotator expertise. In traditional annotation tasks, such as picture objects annotation, there is no internal relationships among instances and among labels. So for each repeatedly annotated pictures, the reliable annotation is produced separately. On the other hand, emotive expressions can, cannot be divorced from the context. Take narratives as an example. A narrative usually is subject to certain emotional tendency, and the characters in a narrative typically have their distinct personalities. Both the narrative emotional tendency and the character personalities tend to remain consistent across the sentences in the same context. Moreover, the emotion, emotions expressed by a sentence may relate to the emotion expressed by the subsequent sentences. So if we take the internal relationships among instances and among levels into consideration, it is expected to obtain the high quality results from the annotations provided by fewer annotators and further save the cost. Our work is based on the domain-independent multi-label estimation, which, is, which only considers the annotator base. We propose two domain-specific models for multi-emotion estimation. The first model consider not only the annotator bias, but also the annotation consistency. The second model extended the first model by estimating the emotional consistency with contextual cues. First, I will briefly introduce the model, the domain-independent multi-label estimation model. The domain-independent multi-label estimation model is proposed for inferring the unknown true label set for each instance from the annotations provided by multiple annotators. It considers the annotator base, which is modeled as the probability of each label set to be true when an annotator annotated an instance with a certain label set. In the multi-emotion estimation, instance is specialized into a sentence to take into account the dependency relationships among emotions. We introduce the concept of conjoint emotion, which the label set is specialized into. A conjoint emotion is a subset of candidate emotions. For example, the two conjoint emotions happiness, relief, and happiness excitement express two different kinds of happiness. One is comparatively mild, while the other is strong. So by using the domain-independent multi-label estimation model, the true conjoint emotion for a sentence is determined as the one that achieves the maximum likelihood given the annotations of the sentence. On the other hand, multi-emotion estimation is a domain-specific aspect of multi-label estimation. I have introduced that a narrative usually subjects to certain emotional tendency, and the character typically have their personality, their distinct personalities. For example, the narrative of the Snow White may tend to express happiness and fondness since it has a, has a heavy ending. For the characters, the queen may tend to feel angry and disgusted when she finds Snow White is more beautiful than herself. The Snow White may tend to feel fearful and sad after being sent into the forest. The seven dogs may tend to feel excited and happy when they find Snow White in their horse. Both the narrative emotional tendency and character personality 
tend to remain consistent under the same context. To improve the accuracy of the domain independent multi level estimation model, we propose incorporating emotional tendency into the estimation process. The problem is how to model the, co the emotional consistency. We modeled the emotional consistency as the distribution over conjoint emotions. The narrative emotional tendency is modeled as the distribution over conjoint emotions for all sentences. And the character personality is modeled as the distribution over conjoint emotions for sentences spoken by the character. So after considering the emotional consistency, a true conjoint emotion for a sentence has to keep consistent with the narrative emotional tendency and character personality. It is obvious that the conjoint emotion that a sentence a sentence or a character expresses likely relate to the emotions expressed by the previous sentence or character. For example, a son scolded by his mother for some mistakes would more likely feel sad and disgusted, while the mother would more likely feel angry. So it is beneficial to know the contextual cues among emotions for estimating con emotional consistency. By incorporating contextual cues, the narrative emotional consistency and the character personality are learned, by, are learned using background transition distribution. This means the conjoint emotion expressed by a sentence or a character is conditional on the conjoint emotion expressed by the previous sentence or the, or the previous character. We used an EM-based algorithm to infer the results. In the E step, we, estimate, we estimated the expectations of the joint emotions for each sentence. In the M step, we estimated the maximum likelihood estimates of the annotators, which is proposed in the domain independent multi level estimation model. And the emotional tendency and character personality, which, is proposed, which are proposed in our domain specific multi emotion estimation model. The E and the M steps are alternately performed until the likelihood for all annotations converts. At this point, the conjoint emotion with the maximum likelihood is determined as the true conjoint emotion for each sentence. We know that for the emotion annotations to be reliable, they should be in accordance with the general consensus of large, of large cross. The majority vote most exactly reflect the general consensus if the number of annotators is large enough. So we obtained the gold standard by having each sentence annotated by 30 annotators and then taking the majority vote. This means that is the most often annotated conjoint emotion for each sentence is determined as the gold standard for that sentence. To determine the effect of the number of annotators per sentence, we randomly split the, the 30 annotators who annotated a particular sentence into various numbers of groups of equal size, and then estimated true conjoint emotion with the annotations, using the annotations within each group. We use five different group sizes, and the tested emo estimation models include the majority vote, the domain independent, domain independent multi-level estimation model, and the two domain-specific multi-emotion estimation models. 
since both the estimation result and the gold standard of a sentence can be seen as a binary vector. The performance, uh, the performance evaluation is the average simple matching coefficient, namely the proportion of the correct emotions of all sentences. These are the experimental results. We randomly choose two narratives for our experiment. For the first narrative, we ask each of the 30 annotators who annotated, we ask each of the 30 annotators to annotate the complete set of all sentences. So the 30 annotations for each sentence were provided by the same annotators. For the second stop narrative, the annotators were not specifically selected. So the 30 annotators, annotations for each sentence were provided by actually annotators. This is a more real, real, realistic situation since it is, it, is a not, it is not a good idea to submit a very large task to the crowdsourcing service because a large task may diminish annotator enthusiasm or even cause annotators to avoid the task. So we conducted the second narrative in this way to determine the effect of the arbitrary annotator interference on the model results. From the results, we can see that when the group size was 3, 5, or 10, out of 3 statistical, statistical models achieve better accuracy than the majority world. Although the accuracy increase with the group size, the two domain specific multi-emotion estimation models consistently outperform the domain independent multi-level estimation model and had accuracies greater than 90% when the group when the number when when the number of annotators per sentence is five or more. This means that considering emotional consistency is effective for multi-emotion estimation, and five would be a reasonable number for each of annotators for each sentence to achieve satisfactory performance. Moreover, the model with contextual cues increased fastest and exceeded the model without contextual cues for five or more annotators per sentence. The reason for this phenomenon is that when the group size was three, the diverse, the diverse effect of data sparsity is significant and the annotation quantity is not sufficient for well learning the transition distributions over conjoint emotions. However, once the annotation quantity is sufficient, the superiority of the model with contextual cues become evident. Finally, none of the models was particularly sensitive to the effect of arbitrary annotator interference in the second narrative. Above all, I have talked about the problem of multi-emotion estimation for narrative sentences from cross annotations. On the basis of the domain-independent multi-level estimation model, we only consider the annotator bias. We propose incorporating emotional consistency, including narrative emotional tendency and character personalities. The experimental results showed that it is effective. Uh, incorporating emotional consistency is effective for multi-emotion estimation, especially when the consistency is esti estimated using the contextual cues. The general idea of our proposed model, of mod models may also be applicable to cross-source text 
which also possess consistency and context. For example, a text message and its replies often have consistent emotional consistency, and the feelings of the poster and the replies may have contextual cues. So if we note emotion, emotions expressed by the replies, it is helpful to predict the emotion expressed by the poster. For the art style annotation tasks, music composers and movie directors often have their distinct styles, which may keep consistent in their works. So in future, we plan to do more experiments to test the feasibility and the validity of our proposed models across different domains. Okay, that's all. Thank you for listening.